Hey guys, if you want to format your external hard drive and it's partitioned like this one, so here's my external hard drive and it's partitioned to three parts. So in order to get rid of all these three parts and just combine them into one, which by the way, formatting means erasing everything from it, so we're gonna delete everything. Um, what we have to do is go up here on the top right hand side and we're gonna see view. Under view, go into show all devices. Now make sure not to touch your internal, which is up here. We're just gonna go down a little bit and we're gonna format the first part. This is what contains three, these three parts, kind of. So as long as we do format this part, then everything else will be formatted as well. So everything else will be deleted within our external hard drive. So we're just gonna go up here where we see erase and we're gonna click on erase. And yes, erase does exactly that. It's gonna delete everything. So just in case, um, right here we have journaled, which uh, would only work with Macs. If you guys want this to work with Macs and PC, your best format is XFAT. So you do want XFAT down here below and make sure this is partitioned. So if you want to partition this again, you guys can go ahead and click on partition. If you guys choose anything else, it might not work. Okay, especially master root record. That never works. That cannot be partitioned. So that's also a problem that we see online as well. Anyways, what we're gonna do is just click on erase. Now I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna click on erase. So right now, as you guys could see, all these partitions just disappeared and there's only this one right here, which technically isn't a partition. I'm just gonna click on done. And from now, I can go ahead and click on partition if that's what you're looking for. So I can click on partition. So you guys can see, here's my partition. I can name this whatever, and I can keep adding more and more partitions into this. So let's say I want this to be so let's make that two terabytes. And from there, we're just gonna click on the plus sign. That's the way that I like to do things. And we can just drag this along and make it bigger or smaller. And that's really the best way to partition anything and not just putting numbers here. Because numbers may not add up in the end. Even if you think they are, they're really not. <laughs> so let's just click on another partition. And there we go. And that's how you guys can partition. If that's what you guys wanted to do, just click on apply. We're gonna partition this and we're gonna let it be. Again, that's if, that's why you're watching this video. Now, I'm gonna show you something else once the partitioning is done. So right now, as you guys can see, I have my three partitions right here. So I can click on this one, this one, and this one. So you can partition some of it to be just for, let's say Mac, another part just to be for Mac and PC, and so on. But right now, I'm gonna just go over Again, I'm gonna just format this as one thing. So I'm gonna erase. And right here, as I mentioned, journaled is just for Mac. Plug this into a PC, it's not gonna recognize it. And right here, XFAT is what most of you are looking for is something that's compatible with Mac and PC. So this will work on a Windows computer. It's gonna work on your Mac as well to transfer files between the two. If you're just interested in journaled, that means for Mac, then just do that. Just make sure to choose this very first part anyways, it's always better. And from here, we're just gonna name this and we are gonna erase it. So at this point in time, we should see this message. Just click on done. I'm gonna just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. And right now I'm back into just one partition, which is this one. So basically I'm just gonna see this as my main partition and that's it. I'm not gonna ever see this part. So don't worry about that. And we can always just edit that view just by on top here and just show only volumes, for example. Or we can just go in hide sidebar, which I don't recommend doing it because then you might not see all these options once we do that. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.